Oh, hello, Dr. Sanders. I'm Burgess Elk from the UN. This is Dr. Norse and Dr. Sherman. Well, we don't have much time, and I'm sure you all know why we're here. Um, we need to find the new source of energy that will release the least amount of CO2 as possible. You can use this energometer to measure the energy in your experiments. If you can't come up with a solution, we'll have to go back to solar. But sir, it's been known for years that solar power produces more CO2 than oil and wind combined. Yes, I'm aware, but we've already depleted all our oil resources, and the folks on the uh, Missions Reduction Committee predict we're going to reach peak wind within a few years. I hope it serves as an incentive to you folks. If you... I have to go. All right. Here is your food. Here is your water. And here is your toilet. Wasn't there a bathroom just up the wall? Use the bucket. Uh, one more thing? Well, let's get to work. and water together and add a plant, that makes chemical energy, right? So if we were to blow our breaths into water and then just dunk in a plant, we can make energy. Oh my gosh, we got it. Hey guys, don't look over here, using the bathroom.
got the plant? Yep, we got it. All right, that's enough. Question, how are we going to test this? We broke the energometer. Why don't you guys just use that dead body outside? Oh, that's a good point, Norse. Meet us outside when you're done. The Alternate Energy Committee finally found a new source that would help save the world, energy water. Using the scientific method now known as the poor stuff on a dead body method, this group of scientists discovered the amazing power of energy water. It went on to replace oil, gasoline, and worst of them all, solar industries, reducing the CO2 output by 90%. With the help of the other two committees, the world was saved. What happened to these scientists? They went on to form the greatest rock band of all time. <laughs>